Okay, so we've got the function f of t is equal to 9.5 sine squared pi t on the interval 9 to 11. Now we're asked to use four equal subintervals using the midpoints of the subintervals to estimate the average value over the given interval. Okay, so keep in mind that average value. is equal to area over length of interval. Okay, so the length of the interval here is 9 to 11, so that's 2. That's the easy part. Uh, the hard part is going to be to find uh, the area. We're going to use that, do that using the midpoints um, with four equal subintervals. Okay, so this length uh, of this interval is 2. If there's four subintervals, each uh, interval is going to have to be uh, half in length. Okay, so here to here and so on. Okay, so there's four subintervals. That means that here is 9.5 to 10 and this is 10.5. Okay, now using midpoint in each one of these intervals, we need to find the midpoint between 9 and 9.5 to use as our first height of this rectangle. Okay, that would be 9.5. Two five. Our next one will be in between here, which would be nine point seven five. The next one would be here, which is ten point two five. And then the final one would be here. Whoops which is 10.75, okay? So I'll make these little rectangles here, and notice they're all about the same height. Here's our first rectangle. I apologize for my drawing here. There's the second rectangle area, and I'm Go ahead and draw them the same height because they actually are going to be the same height, and we'll find that out in a second. Okay, so here we go. We've got four rectangles there. Okay, so to find the area of each one of those rectangles, um, we are going to do length times width. The length of each one of those is a half. Okay, so a half times the height of this rectangle is the height of the function at 9.25. So I'll say f of 9.25. Okay, um, plus half times this one, this rectangle. The height there is the height of the function at 9.75. So f of 9.75 plus half. The next one would be f of 10.25. And the last one would be f of 10.75, running out of room there. Okay, so we plug these into the function, which I've already done. So I've got the function, I'll show you the y equals 9.5 sine pi sine squared pi x. Okay, so I go to the calculator notice I typed in the values 9.25 9. Point, and they're all the same they're all 10 okay so that means that I have a half times 10 that's a half times 10 you could factor that half out if you wanted to could have done that earlier okay if you do all that that's 5555 five, five, five. that's equal to 20 20 is the area of the rectangles. Now the average value of the rectangles, remember up here, average value is area over the length of the interval. The length of this entire interval is 2. So the average value is 20 over 2, which is 10.